to the Hunter series, I am Ilbro, and in today's episode we are going to be uh, checking out the, the town here, uh, right in Pop Pills, and we're going to see uh, truly what all is in this town, and going to see what we can do to help build up. I want to get a forge and hopefully a wrench to uh, get a chem get the chemistry station out of Pop and Pills. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and watch till the end. Let's get right into it with this gun safe I broke into overnight. The shotgun parts and a hunting rifle receiver. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's going to be a slow um, build up uh, again uh, to get back to where I was, but uh, let's see where we can go. Uh, just before I head out, I'm going to throw this stuff into this chest here. So yeah, I need some leather, some stone, and some clay to make a new forge. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, some remains from overnight. Ooh, looks like we got a leather hood schematic. I think I uh, already do that one, so... In case if you missed it in the last episode, we did it uh, and finished all the trigger quests and found Trigger Bob. So that means, uh, since this is a archery, blades, and hunting rifle only playthrough, weird. I can sell off shotguns and parts and all that for for the good stuff. Chicken, come here. Come on, these guys are so... There we go. So how are we doing today, guys? Are we having a good day? And, uh... Because I'm having a good one? You... Just, uh... You happy to be on the grind for some content? And... Ooh, that explosion. Or in a penny. Level 30 of blades. Morning, Amy. Charlie. There you go, Penny. Head explosion. More to Marla. Three skill points and five water off of Marla. Keep in mind, this, uh... I don't have loot set to 200% or anything. Like, that's just, uh, 100% loot. A really good drop. It's like, because I was a little bit low on water. Ow. Sweat, come on. Come here. Take your look at There you go, buddy. So yeah, let's, uh, take a look at what we got for skills. Invest another level into the survivor. Uh, gotta have level 40 in uh, blade weapons uh, for that. Um, let's see. Don't have enough for Meyer 69er. Uh, could invest into Quality Joe if I get my scavenging hold up. Oh! <laughs> Damn fucking sweat, you. <laughs> Little brat. There you go. As I was saying, good invest into Quality Joe. And if I get my construction tools up a couple levels, I could uh, make myself a workbench. If I find an extra hammer and a wrench and all that, maybe invest into treasure hunter a little bit. Mm. I'll just leave those 30 skill points uh, to rest. And do uh, it. Gonna make myself a spun here. Or a bandage. That works too. Let's just bust in here real quick and break down a curtain. Yeah, 
Yeah, after dying, we found this town in the last episode. Uh, I died over here in the wasteland, and I just, and my backpack is set to delete everything on death. So I decided to take this road up north, and we found this. And so I'd say we're looking really good for a central location for a kind of like a main base. Just gotta figure out where I want to build it. But I do kind of want to just keep it, uh, how do I say, I want to kind of keep it crafted. And we got zero zero not too far away, so once we get a kid up, uh, we should be good to go on that front. Uh, break that in for the time being. There we go. Get our splint crafted. So I'm going to go find the poppin' pills in this town again, and uh, I'll catch up with you in just a minute. Alright, so as I'm taking down Annie here, I do uh, want to say thank you for uh, uh, the five subscribers. I did a little subscriber special yesterday, and, and you know, did a little bit of double uploading, and, and you know, I really appreciate it. And I do really appreciate all the, uh, oh, Penny, 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 hang on guys, sorry. I need to watch my health here. But, you know, really thank you. Uh, it's like I want to keep this uh, going, you know, make this into a good community, and hopefully get, uh, get really big, and uh, you know, have a nice little thing. You know, I do want to say I do try to promote uh, positivity here, and I will always try to keep it upbeat. Hey, pistol book. Can't really utilize that for. What do you call it, uh... For, you know, making pistols, but... If anything, that... Ooh, good, for sake, you know... Assemble pistols and sell them. For sake, uh, kid, uh, blood drop. I'll kind of catch up with you guys in just a minute and uh, show you the loot I've managed to get out of here. So I managed to raid the whole uh, kind of front end of the, the popping bills here. Let me just uh, kind of get out of the way of zombies real quick as I go down the front door. Just from the uh, front uh, alone. Look at the. Uh, Managed to get three antibiotics, two blood draw kits, 
painkillers, uh, six blood bags, two, three first aid kits, because I already used one, two beakers, a, six vitamins, a couple first aid bandages. That's what you can really expect on like 100% loot. Pretty good with him for getting healing supplies, and but really the biggest thing is once you have the first aid schematic, the, uh, it's like popping pills is just really good for uh, getting like grain alcohols really for first aid kits and it helps you get a little bit of a boost. What are you doing, eh? Thank you for the painkiller. I think in one of these fancy houses we can find a, a couple uh, other catches and we should be sorted out the water from the forge. No, and. There you go. Some food and uh, some water, painkillers. Zombie looks pretty good. There's a cop shop over there. There you go, Carly. Take your healthy helping of uh, him, Bone Shiv. We got a, a stack of crawlers and a Charlie. Damn trash. Not to call the zombies trash, trash pile. Look at Charlie there, he's just uh, having a nap. There you go. Quit moving your head so much. There you go, one tap. There you go. Just gonna harvest this up for stone real quick to get some extra arrows going. Out of ammo in the bow. Ow. Thanks, May. Stop the bleeding. There you go. Headshots, headshots. Or misses. Those, those were two. Are you gonna go down? There you go. Couple curlies. I know I'm getting a lot of zombie attention here from the uh, meat on my person. I should have put that. That was from a chicken, I believe. There you go, Curly. We got his brother, Burly. And Burley's down. And Curly's down. Oh, 42. If anything, leveling up from all these zombies. Uh, let's break into the back. You know, see your prize. The... See you later, Marla. And uh, did I just see. Oh, Mikey, good to see you, buddy. Stop in for your pills. Yeah, I feel you. Some lead and some brass. Water. Uh, who's in here? Oh, we got old Bob in here. Come here, get your arrows. Oh, we're out. Bob. Ooh, BDU pants. I think those are pretty good for protection, so... Yeah, much better than the shorts. Not too much longer to break into the door. There is our prize, the, the chemistry uh, station. Uh, iron sledgehammer. 
Not really much use of me, but I'll take a three-point weapon sort of thing. Yeah, you, if you have your schematics read, always read the schematics, because they will give you a extra point in your yeah, in crafting skills. A little bit of a quality boost. Sounds like we got company out back, but not too worried about them. So I'm gonna raid the rest of the uh, pop pills here, and uh, I'm gonna uh, dump off some stuff and be back with you in a uh, minute and at one of the houses uh, 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 that are fancy. All right, so I'm coming up to one of the fancy homes here. I'm getting ready to raid for leather, and I actually just found out of a sweat uh, Raphael's treasure map, and I have not read a. Sarah's treasure map yet, so that's really uh, good potential for some uh, moolah, some money, and but all right, we're getting ready to break into the house here. Let's see what we can find. Their jackpot. Just what I was looking for. The these other couches, you get you know, some really quick, easy leather early on. If you find uh, this, or like a cracker book, is great for you know, finding leather. Um, scrap that down. I'm just gonna parry you and then scrap you down. Not that much in the the old uh, desk. This, I think, is uh, just a crossover. Construction tools level 19. So we're making a little bit of progress. I did see one of the gas stations, I think, has the gas, the uh, passing gas. Check, let's see what's up here in the attic. Pull my torch out for you guys to see. Some feathers and an egg. Dead Charlie. Not that in you. Sometimes those guys uh, can uh, provide 44 magnum parts, so... Always uh, worth it to me to check them you know, when I'm able to use 44 magnum. Uh, and they can also provide some pretty decent ammo. Let's see what's behind the store. Um, looks like a gun safe. All right, so read the pantry a little bit, the kitchen. I didn't notice in the little office area we have a desk safe, so okay, not really too much. Coffee beans, got the campies, at least some food. It does definitely sound like we got some company coming in outside. At least we're getting plenty of water. Help the zombies out a little bit. Hi, Charlie. Okay. There you go. Got 40 skill points to spend. Level 43. I was just repairing the clothes for a little bit of uh, tailoring XP. Um, break through this real quick. I wonder if there's a bookcase in this house. Ooh, a couple. Do you got anything? Paper. And leather the leg armor schematic. Proves at least the quality of the the armor I can craft a little bit. There we go, there's a wrench. So looking for one of those and a couple of vitamins. See if we can get up to 104. There we go. So I'm gonna take my time to break into the dust safe and the 
in the gun safe upstairs and I will be back with you in a moment. And I've just broken into the gun safe. I did break into the death safe. I found a short shotgun barrel that was all that was in there. So we got a pistol receiver and a hunting rifle barrel. Which is alright, loot. Hunting rifle barrel if I can ever find the uh, recipe to it, then you know, can at least uh, maybe put that towards a hunting rifle. Let's do here real quick. And I did find a wrench in with the bathroom sink, so I can't remember if I mentioned that already or not, but that's really good. So let's go on the way back to the house. We're going to go see if we can find the uh, workbench in this, if, if I'm remembering the right gas station. So let's see. Uh, yes, there is. Awesome. And I got the leather required for the forge, and got a workstation we can. A chemistry bench and the popping pills. Which is all uh, nice, and we can. So it's like, we're looking pretty set up aside from a cement mixer, which is really good. But yeah, let's just uh, get this broken down, then we'll read the rest of this gas station. Definitely sounds like we got company outside. Crap! I accidentally did that. I accidentally broke it down with the stone axe. I am. <laughs> oh well, I am only human. Come here, Bob. I gotta take my frustration out on somebody. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, we're only like one level off from being able to make one. I would just want to find a, a second uh, wrench to make it with because I cannot craft at the moment. Um, Dead Turtle, you got anything? No. Another point in leather working. Ooh, crossbow schematic. Hello, beautiful. That's gonna be really nice. Got another ranged option. It's like, don't get wrong, I love the bow and everything. It's just that... Oh. Oh, I thought this was, uh, just sitting on its own, but anyways. Sometimes the drop gets a little bit ridiculous, and... And, uh, I did unlock the... What do you call it, the, uh, exploding crossbow bolts. Hey, there's the other uh, wrench that I was, uh, needing. Uh, throw the sham sandwiches out, and for the blood bag. I think this might be a working sis, uh, box. Yep, and nothing in there. Um... I think I'm just gonna place this gas barrel here. I'm not gonna blow it up or anything, I just wanna... Get rid of it. And I'll be uh, back with you guys once I'm back at the house. Alright, I'm back at the house. I've done some resource gathering, gathered some stone for the forge, and also some clay. So let's just get right on up here and. Oh, where are my chests? There, there they are. Grab the leather, wherever it may be. Where is it? Oh, it's in my inventory, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, like I say, it's a little bit demotivating. <laughs> I <laughs> built the little scrap down the workbench by accident and then hit it with a wrench. But it's only a minor setback, it's not that big of a deal. I managed to find uh, you know, the second wrench needed for that, so I can just craft a claw hammer with the with the stuff, and so. Make the forge. 
and I forgot to get the chemistry station. But it's one of those that's not used for too much. So I'll just grab that in the next episode. And, and the one thing I do want to start doing is make some cobblestone rocks. Because I do want to start building a base, and what I think it might do is uh, build somewhere in the center of town. Yeah, I'm going to continue getting some crafting resources and and all. I'm just going to catch up with you guys on the night time. Alright, it's just ticked over and I am getting back into the house. I've spent the past couple in-game hours to you know, collect stone and some iron and some good old-fashioned uh, clay because I want to make more cobblestone rocks. So... Get those on the craft. Gonna throw the iron in here. Gonna throw a bit more clay in there too. And I did reach a level 20 section tools, which is really good. So now we can unlock the workbench recipe. And uh, let's see how much it takes to make a claw hammer. That's what we need for a, a workbench, a uh, claw hammer. Just needs 12 forged iron, but not too much. One good little tip is uh, when you're crafting your workbench, uh, make sure you uh, put in your high quality wrench if you have like a really nice one and a and a, you know, like a really kind of low quality one. That way it'll consume the low quality wrench and you save, because it really would suck to lose your better quality one. So yeah, we're, I'm gonna get the workbench crafted and I'm going to do some overnight crafting and, and I will catch up with you guys in the uh, morning. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have uh, a like, comment, subscribe, and and hope you check out another one of my videos, and have a great day, everybody.